uh, so, you know, it's, it's what we, you know, we fight for. That's what we want. We want our running backs and everybody, all our skill guys behind us and around us to, to succeed. So when we made succeed, we succeed. Um, so it's, that's kind of our, you know, award is, is, is looking at, looking at them and succeed. But the fact that they were making it kind of tough on you earlier, Leonard was kind of fighting to get yards. Is that? something good for you guys to have to learn to adjust in a game like that? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, when you keep pounding the defense, you know, you know as the quarters go and the game goes on, you know, four and five-yard runs turn into 10, 12-yard runs. The next thing you know, you just pop an 80-yard 80, 80 run. And it's just, it's just you know, you just got to keep pounding away, keep fighting for extra yards, keep finishing your guy because you never know when your block is going to spring and run and make it a big play. Does Leonard communicate with you guys during the game, come back and say, hey, I think I can – do this if you guys make this block. Yeah, well, yeah, he definitely tells us what he sees from the, you know from his backfield position. Um, we, you know, if I have a question like what, what happened on this play, what, what caused it to not go you know, as good as it could have been, he'll tell me. You know, I, I ask him and he'll let me know. You know, along with JD and uh, Mouton and Brandon. So sometimes we need different views of the offense and see what they saw, so kind of can help us piece together the problem. Is that a two-way thing? You guys also tell him. Keep yeah, grinding, absolutely. we're going to pop we, you loose. Communication is key in the offense. We need to know exactly what's not going right, if anything is not going right, so we can fix it.